The longer you live, the more you will realize that the only things that truly exist in this reality are merely pain, suffering, and futility. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. I'm just kidding, I'm fucking scared. That's why I got the water bottle here, so I don't forget what happened last time. I'm gonna say this, if you're a City fan watching this, you're not gonna like this, I would take a 1-0 loss. I would honestly take a 1-0 loss. If we get a draw, I will feel great. If we get a win by some magical stretch of the imagination, I'm gonna be terrified. <laughs> Real Madrid, if you beat Real Madrid, it's a loss, technically. I'm going to predict a... 2-2 two, two, draw, Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 2, Benzema and Vinicius get the goals, and for Manchester City it's going to be Bernardo Silva and Erling Haaland will score. Let's look at the lineups. Courtois and Net still one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Carvajal one of the most underrated right backs uh, in our generation in my opinion. Rudiger is a fantastic number 2 option for the injured Eder Militao who is a world class center half. David Alaba partnering him and Kamavinga doing what Bernardo Silva has also done this season being a central midfielder playing left back. And their midfield 3 Valverde, Cruz and Modric. Oh my goodness. Oh and it gets worse their front 3 Rodrigo, Karim Benzema and Vinicius fucking Jr. That right side has so much venom. Carvajal with the crosses. Valverde with the overlapping runs. Valverde is quick too. He's so underrated, Valverde. And Rodrigo is sensational as well. I haven't watched too many Real Madrid games this season, but I honestly believe that Tony Cruz for the entire season has been Real Madrid's best midfielder. Now let's check the lineup of our blues. Let's check the lineup of our red and blacks. Yep, I honestly could have predicted this lineup so easily last night. I could have predicted this lineup a week ago, two weeks ago, even a month ago. Akanji Ruben Diaz and John Stones with Walker on the right. From left to right, it's Grealish, Gundogan, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, and Rodri playing that holding CDM role with one of our defenders coming in, probably John Stones. If we win the midfielding battle, I think we'll create enough chances for Erling Haaland to score a goal this game. Without further ado, I think it's time for me to shut up and let's start the fucking match. Come on, city. Ah, uh, great one-two with Modric and Kamavinga. Kamavinga's away. Kamavinga's away. No! Vinicius! Oh, my... Fucking God, as soon as I saw that one two. Domination after domination, one fucking counterattack. What a strike. Beautiful outside the foot touch by Mordrija. That was silk. Vinicius Jr., I've, I've always said he's one of the best football players in the world, and this is exactly why. Ruben Diaz was in Ederson's line of vision. There was no way Ederson was saving that. No keeper in the world is saving that. What a strike. That is absolutely sensational by Vinicius Jr. Mwah. That was, oh my God, that was absolutely stunning. This halftime, not a, not too much to react there. We had one shot with uh, Kevin De Bruyne, but um, that uh, the ball went straight to Thibaut Courtois, so easy save for him. But regardless, first ten, first like fifteen minutes of the game, we were completely dominating the play. It looked like we had a man up. It looked like Real Madrid had uh, ten men instead of eleven. Speaking of that, how the hell is Danny Carvajal not booked? Am I missing something? Rudiger completely body checked my uncle. He went down, head injury. I don't know why the ref didn't blow the whistle immediately because then after that, the ball went straight to Real Madrid and then they started playing and then the ref blows the whistle. Of course the crowd is not gonna like that, okay? Tony Cruz tried to murder Bernardo Silva and he finally got a yellow. Thank God someone got a yellow, Jesus Christ.
Illish needs to calm the F down. He needs to calm the F down. Danny Carval completely just shoved Grealish on his way down. It's it's like a small shove, but because of Grealish's momentum, when he was trying to get the ball, when he was going out of play on the byline, this just completely barged into like that small little wall behind the goal. And of course, they're going to fight each other. Like, of course, like Danny Carvajal is getting into Grealish's head and vice versa. But Carvajal still hasn't been booked. That is absolutely ridiculous. Ruben Diaz pretty much saved us from being down 2-0 because that, that pass from Vinicius Jr. from a mistake from Rodri almost cost Manchester City another goal. But regardless, like I said, I would take a 1-0 loss, but I predict a 2-2 draw. I predicted a 2-2 draw. I actually believe we might actually lose this game and we're going to have to try and turn it around at the Etihad. But Rodri and everybody, we, we got to clean up our passes. Kevin De Bruyne hasn't been doing too well by his standards. He's been getting some crosses and he had this nice left foot across from an almost impossible angle. I don't know how he got that, but regardless... Fantastic work by Real Madrid. Huge respect to Real Madrid. First 15 minutes, they were it was looking like City was going to roll over them. And then now, boom, 1-0 halftime. Every time Vinicius gets the ball, I feel like my heart is in my mouth. Handball for what? You guys keep calling for handball for what? Every time it touches any body part, you, you want a penalty for what? That's outside the box. What do you want a penalty for that? That's not even a penalty! And it's outside the box! What the hell? Grealish, Gucci man, Gucci man, Gucci man, to my uncle, to Kevin, shoot! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like that mom from Home Alone. Kevin! You could hear 1,800 Man City fans singing Blue Moon, giving us a glimmer of hope, and we just do that fantastic take by Rodri. Rodri, the Gucci man. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gucci man. My, my uncle. My uncle. Look at this strike for Kevin De Bruyne. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just don't concede. I will take a 1-1 to the Etihad. Yep, yep, of course, Real Madrid complaining, complaining. How do you describe this, Equipo? Complaining, complaining FC. Full time, baby. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. First of all, I want to say congratulations to Ederson. Holy shit. I've been putting up a couple of jokes here and there, maybe like a couple of jokes for the entire season on Ederson. I do think he's a top class goalkeeper, but I don't think he's world class. Two world-class saves today by Ederson. Okay, one in the first half, one in the second half. Um, especially, he had some great saves in the second half. That, uh, that I don't know if Benzema was offside off that uh, free kick from Tony Cruz. What a save from his right hand from that header from Benzema. And Tuchemeni with a power shot uh, from a corner. And Ederson still wrapped that up. So congratulations to Ederson. Great defensive display by Bernardo Silva. We didn't have any substitutes, which is crazy. But regardless, defensive masterclass. Hopefully, Nathan Ake could come back. Great work by Kyle Walker, but uh, honestly, Vinicius Jr. is sensational. One of the best. He's a top five player in the world right now, Vinicius Jr. You know how big the stakes are. I know how big the stakes are. I'm not going to tell you what this what this match means to me or you. We, we, everybody knows what's at stake here. Everybody knows what we're looking for. So I'm just going to end the video right here. Let's take a breather. Let's relax. I think we got Everton um, at Goodison Park this weekend, and then we got Real Madrid um, at the Etihad next week. Thank you all so much for watching.